Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. If you've not yet liked and subscribed, then please click on the subscribe button below because it really helps the channel. Thank you so much. Um, in this video, there's going to be two things. One is going to be an EcoFlow giveaway, so stay tuned for that. Number two, I'm going to be installing some new solar panels on my van. This isn't an instruction of video. This is just me installing solar panels. An idiot's guide to solar panel install, me being the idiot. Um, so yeah, I've got two 100 watt panels. Now I can already hear you typing, why don't you just get one 200 watt panel? I'm asking myself the same question, but I didn't. I've got two 100 watt panels and I'm gonna wire them in parallel and I'll show you how I've wired them up and what I've done. My van setup, electric wise, is slightly different to a lot of other people. There are easier ways of doing this. You can get, you know, all of the panels that do it all for you and stuff. There's a multitude of ways of doing this, but this is how it works on my van. They're 18 volts each of these panels. Now, the CTEC split charge can only take an input from solar panels of a maximum of 25 volts. Now, stick with me. I'm actually doing technicals, what's going on here? Um, and from what I've read and from the people that I've spoken to have done this before, um, they said if you wire them in parallel, it bade the volts out are the same as if it was one panel. So these will stay 18 volts all the way through. Obviously you're doubling your watts, you know, you're getting 200 watts out of it, you're getting double the amps, so you're still getting all the power that you would need to charge your battery quicker, um, but obviously you're not upping the voltage. I've done a diagram, <laughs> which is really hard to describe. I've done a diagram, and again, I'll put it in the link in the description below to where you can download it, and I'll pop it up here just now. In fact, if I move to one side, the diagram's gonna be here, so it might make sense as I'm talking. So, we're gonna come from the positive feed of the solar panel into the splitters, and I'll show you how I've wired that up in parallel um, with these bad boys here. Look at that, nice. Oh, it's lovely. And then what I'm also gonna do on every single positive feed is I'm gonna put an inline MC4 um, fuse. And then when it comes out of there, I'm also gonna install a cutoff switch, just in case I need to turn off the solar for whatever reason. It's always nice to have a little handy thing. And then in line, I'm gonna, after, the, after this, I'm gonna install this, which will give me a solar reading of what the um, volts are giving me, the amps are giving me, and the wattage and everything like that, so I can monitor it in the cupboard where all my electrics are. Right, I tell you what, should we just do it and then I'll show you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Hopefully by showing you as I'm installing it, then it'll make more sense because I am a visual learner and I learn a lot from YouTube and things like that. And um, hopefully some of you guys do too. Should we just crack on? I don't even think I need to drill a new hole in my pop top either. I know, I think I can use the original one, I know. Um, so yeah, let's crack on and, uh, and let's see what I can break on the van today. Oh. Lovely, jovely. See you, bye. This is what I like to call plastic cardboard because it reminds me of corrugated cardboard, but it's actually plastic. Um, it's like for sale sign stuff. And what I like to do is put this on the roof first and then the solar panel on top of it because then that helps airflow through there to stop the solar panel from heating up so much. Because I've got a black roof as well, it's gonna really, really heat up. And the warmer a solar panel is, apparently the uh, less efficient it is. So if I can get airflow through here, it means that I'm getting some nice um, solar panel stuffage. <laughs> It's giveaway time! I know! One of you looking forward to watching this video is going to bag yourself a River Standard Edition completely for free and as a Yorkshireman, free stuff is really close to my heart. <laughs> As you guys know, I use the EcoFlow products in my van all the time. And as recently as the dubbed out meetup from last week, uh, it was off grid and it meant that I could run my coffee machine, my microwave, my kettle, and even top up my leisure battery by plugging in the battery charger, which then completely gets rid of my battery anxieties because I have them, which is why I'm adding more solar panels to my roof. <laughs> but solar's not always the option because winter's kicking in. It means the sun's not gonna be as high in the sky. And that also means that I'm not gonna be able to charge up my leisure battery as often as I would have been able to in summer. So having that extra battery bank as a little backup is brilliant. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. Remember the River 2 is now available, so you can go and buy that now for just a nice and spicy price of around £250, which I don't think is too bad for that. It's great for charging your laptops, your phones. We use it to pump our paddle boards up. I talk about it more in the dubbed out meetup video. So if you want to go check that out, nip across to a couple of weeks ago and you can have a look.
If you want to grab yourself a bargain as well, EcoFlow have a Black Friday sale on at the moment and that will end on the 28th of November and I think you can save up to £250 on some of the products. <sighs> Running out of breath. <laughs> But now onto the most important part, which is how do you enter the competition? It's really, really simple and straightforward. All you have to do is comment down below anything. Keep it clean, obviously, it's a family show. Um, yeah, so yeah, just comment anything down below and I'll do what I did last time, which is do a random number generator because I think that's the fairest way to do it. I'll video it, I'll upload it midweek and then you can find out who's won the EcoFlow River Standard Edition. It will get sent direct to you, to your home address, completely free and gratis. How ace is that? It's nice. Comment down below, crack on, do it now, because the competition will close on the 14th, which is Monday. So you've got tonight, tomorrow, Sunday, and then all day Monday, back to solar install. So that's the plastic cardboard stuck to the roof. Um, I've not stuck it as much as I did on the last one. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below if you want to go watch the other one because it's just a temporary fix to stop it from blowing away while I screw down the uh, new solar panel, solar panel number one. Uh, and then I'll repeat this process and do solar panel number two and then we'll start wiring up. Ah, this is a much more pleasant experience than last time when I had to drill holes in my pop top. I didn't like doing that at all. <laughs> Although to be fair, I might have to do another hole. I'm not sure yet, it depends whether I can get four um, connectors into the original hole that I've already drilled uh, but we'll find out when we get to that point but first we need to get the solar panels affixed onto the roof and safe and then we can start doing wiring after that so yeah awesome nice <laughs> plastic cardboard to here it's literally just stuck down in two different places because it doesn't need to be held down with anything this time as I've mentioned before this second one's in so there's there this is the rib so this is this is the rib that goes down uh, my pop top so I've just had to basically just cut it so then it fits um, onto here so then I've got like a flat um, solar panel otherwise it would curve over that if you know what I mean and uh, that's absolutely fine if that's what you want but you know I wouldn't mind to be flat and this is about the same height as that so happy days um, if it wasn't I'd probably double up the plastic cardboard uh, so it was the same height or do something similar I don't know it's not so I don't have to <laughs> so now it's a case of grabbing the other solar panel getting that on and then figuring out I'm gonna get the wires all the way from that solar panel all the way down to that hole there and see if they fit in that hole so this is the easy bit in essence uh, the wiring is the uh, confusing bit well for me anyway <laughs> Right, so that's both solar panels on. Um, the wire from the second solar panel, I'll, I'm just gonna send down the side there and put a connector on it because they're all waterproof uh, and then make a short uh, lead to then send it through there. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is make a little short lead out of some spare solar panel wire that I've got to then uh, send that through and down. <sighs> nice. Right, ignore this red one, it's a negative. <laughs> Um, I know it's a negative, I've marked it off that it's a negative. So basically, two negatives go into this uh, splitter here, which then uh, turns into that. And then two positives go into this splitter, which then turns into that. And then you connect it up to your main um, electric circuit, which is basically going down into the van. Now everything's unplugged in the van at the moment. I'm not gonna plug it all in just yet, because we're gonna go into the van and uh, do the electrics in there first before we hook it all up. Right, so I know I said we were going to go and do the uh, electrics in the cab, but what I did do before that is just neaten up the panel to make sure all the wires were um, all kind of, sorry, this ladder's really wobbly. <laughs> um, we're all like stuck down and stuff. So I've used some outdoor tape again, same stuff as I used last time. It's basically just like insulation tape. It's a bit thicker and a bit wider and uh, yeah, it does the job. And basically all I've done is I've just gone down these edges here just to hold these wires in. Um, the wires are um, they're down, they're proper in, uh, but the tape just makes it a little bit snazzier and look nicer from above. Um, I've also, in fact, we'll go around and I'll show you. So this is all cable tied up now uh, and looking snazzy. Some people put junction boxes here, that's absolutely fine. I'm not going to do that. Uh, you can if you want. Uh, I'm not going to do that, the wires are absolutely fine. And then with this hole here, uh, I'll gunk it up with uh, silicon sealing as soon as um, everything is in place because these wires are going to move up and down and uh, as soon as I put the pop top up again 
obviously I don't want the silicon sealant coming out so yeah once it's all done that'll be the last thing to do but everything's looking snazzy and nice uh, all in place and again what I'll do is I'll do an update in a month or two on a video uh, showing you how uh, how they've performed over time and uh, if they're still there and if they've fallen off because uh, I'm going down to Liverpool tomorrow uh, to photograph a wedding for a subscriber nice and uh, that's a really good uh, motorway test to see whether it's going to come off or not so at the moment we've just got dangly danglies uh, all wired up in parallel now let's go into the cupboard and get uh, all the other schminky dinks and ninky nonks uh, attached in here and I'll show you what I'm putting in see you bye sorry my face is so close and I've got you precariously balanced on the port -a -loo. <laughs> anyway right so what's going on in here so what I'm going to do is attach the uh, cutoff switch that's going to go basically from the input from the solar panel so the solar panel input will come straight into this and then come out of this to the solar monitor and then the solar monitor will then be wired up with some of these bad boys nice uh, on here and on here like this lovely jovely um, in fact there's going to be um, on the negative side there's going to be a there's going to be a negative end on that because that'll go to the switch these will go to the uh, main solar input to the um, MPPT controller the CTEC and then this will um, go because obviously you've got your negative feed and then that goes to the switch so it can cut it off if this panel's on then I know it's switched on and there's stuff going so it's going to be switch then the panel uh, rather than the panel then the switch so then I know and I've got a visual aid to see whether the panels are on or off it's not going to be the tidiest of installs it's a DIY guy uh, basically <laughs> if you've watched all my other videos you'll have seen all my other installs some of them go brilliantly some of them don't go brilliantly but that's the nature of giving it a go yourself three hours later right it's been total mind melt <laughs> it's not a tidy install I do apologize to any electricians or any kind of uh, camper van installer people uh, out there it's not the tidiest of installs it works it's safe that's all that matters I've got my uh, fuses in line and um, the solar panels are up and looking all snazzy and whatnot. Right, so I've just popped the top and I've just got to sort these wires out now. I'm gonna cable tie them all together, uh, make them all neat so they don't get caught under the pop top and whatnot. I've got the fuses in line here. They're all from the positive feed and um, and there's fuses obviously before the C-Tech and then into the fuse box. There's loads and loads of fuses. There's probably more fuses than I ever need, but at least then I know it's safe and secure. If anything was to happen, the fuses would go first. So yeah always put fuses in there's probably no need for me to put a uh, a cut off switch <laughs> um, but it was just for my own peace of mind that i put a cut off switch in uh, and yeah that's all awesome don't come here for technicals like i say this isn't a uh, this is not a uh, instructional video it's just watch an idiot install some solar panels in parallel <laughs> uh, yeah right so that's the end of the video take care guys thank you so much for watching i shall see you on the next adventure take care see you bye